Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to do a brief introduction to IFC parameters in ARCHICAD. So, first off, uh, any 3D element, um, including zones, can have IFC properties, and those can be accessed by um, selecting an element or selecting a tool and going down in the info box to tags and categories. And in here, we see things like the ID, structural function, its position, uh, element classification, renovation status, and then down below here, uh, IFC properties. Some of these are grayed out because they're locked um, and a little bit gibberish. You don't really need to worry about, worry about the global ID there. Um, but then other things here we can actually type in and give a name. Uh, first off, one thing you'll see is the name attribute and the ID are identical. They're actually linked, so we can change the ID to example, and the name attribute is going to update as well. Um, the next thing I want to show you here, like I said, this is going to be very simple. Under element classification, you'll notice the IFC type is IFC wall standard case. Element classification is wall because it's the default for wall tool. We can go ahead and change that and say this is actually a footing. Now you'll see what happened is the IFC type changed to footing and um, we actually got a different property here. So we can change it from not defined, user defined, strip footing, blah blah. So let's say this is a footing beam. So now, again, why, we, why do we need to update that? That's kind of beyond the scope of this video. But what I want you to start seeing is how some of our things we're comfortable with in ARCHICAD, the ID is connected to an IFC property, how classifying the element as what it is, say a footing, uh, maybe as a, I don't know, uh, building, building element proxy, whatever, that changes what the IFC properties are. And that will matter later as we get deeper into IFC and see how we can build up other properties to show up if we change that, or at least to be available. So let's change it to footing again, because that was fun. Um, so that, th this gives you the basics, but if we go into the wall tool itself, we go down to tags and categories, it's this basically the same thing, we can also go to manage IFC properties. And this is the other thing I want to talk about today. Um, we click on manage IFC properties, and it's going to pull up this other window. Now here's all the, the default IFC properties that show up in ARCHICAD. Um, these are all the, the P sets. You can go down and you can see there's a whole bunch of things. And if we just randomly pick one, um, let's say uh, product requirements, and we go ahead and just check some of these off. I don't care which they are right now. This is just an example. So we check some of those. Now we hit OK. Now you'll see all that stuff is shown up here. Um, and if we hit OK, tags and categories, you'll see it's all there. Um, what I was clicking on right here, let's go back in, this classification looks like a, a date, and this IFC property is set, so you can go and pick the day, the month, and the year, for whatever, for whatever this is. Again, that's getting ahead of myself, but the point I really want to go over here is, under Manage Properties, we can go and turn off, on or off properties. And there are a lot of things here. Fortunately, this window we can click this and it's going to hide everything that's not um, that's not actually part of this element. So we could go turn off all these things we just turn on, um, hit OK, and we're kind of back to the default there. Uh, like I said, that's all I want to cover today because I want to keep this very simple, uh, get people to understand how IFC properties are uh, defaulted in to an into an element and then how to start adding more. And right now I'm just focusing on the default ones, which there are a number of. Um, these actually probably have specific purposes for some outside data sets. Um, but what's good is if you are starting to get interested in adding more 2D data attached to elements, say fire rating, you can go and use the IFC fire rating uh, property and attach that to your element rather than trying to add that data in some other way. Um, all this will start to make a lot more sense as we get into looking at how IFC data could be attached to labels, and interactive schedules, 
and export it out to other programs. All tons of great stuff, um, but first we have to understand how to just add these properties to an element of ECAD. And step one is getting comfortable with the tags and categories and being able to change these things, um, change the element classification, and then go ahead and start adding other properties which um, are kind of defaulted in there. So that's step one. Hope that makes sense. Ask any questions you have in the comments and hopefully fairly soon I'll be writing more about what we can do with these IFC properties and how we can create our own and use IFC mapping which connects one piece of data in ARCHICAD through an IFC property to something else and just opens up a whole cool world of stuff. And as a teaser, that is found under File, File Special, IFC 2i3, Scheme Setup. And in here, we can do all sorts of cool things with rules. And that's another video. But thank you very much. Uh, hope you learned something.